What's up guys, Chase here at Rocky Mountain ATV MC and welcome to our ATV Utility Buyer's Guide. All right guys, so here at Rocky Mountain, we carry a ton of OEM and aftermarket parts and accessories for your ATVs. But in this video today, we're gonna walk you through and we're gonna show you our top picks and what we feel are the best additions that add functionality, safety, and even some creature comforts to your utility ATV. So sit back, relax, and let's get to it. All right, so the first suggestion we have for your utility ATV is to have a winch installed. Now a winch, it has a lot of different uses for it. You can use it to get heavy objects off the trail like a fallen log. Here in Utah, we use our winches a ton to operate our snow plows. And in some situations, yes, you are gonna need it to get yourself out of a bad situation. So here at Rocky Mountain, we carry winches from Warren, from Tusk and Polaris, and we carry them from 2,000 up to 4,000 pound ratings. And we're gonna have those with braided steel, or you can get those with a synthetic rope. Now, if you're having a hard time deciding or don't know which material, either synthetic rope or steel is gonna be better for you, well, there's a couple of things that you're gonna to want to consider. Now, first question you wanna ask yourself is how often are you gonna be using your winch? A synthetic rope, these are ideal if you're, if you're gonna use your winch a lot. For example, if you're gonna use a snow plow, they're lightweight, they're easy to handle, and one nice thing is you don't have to wear heavy-duty gloves when you're handling those. But if you're doing some serious off-roading, if you're doing a lot of utility work, then a steel braided cable is probably gonna be the way to go. They're very heavy-duty, they're incredibly strong and resistant to abrasion. Just keep in mind, though, when you're operating those or using them, you're definitely gonna to wanna to wear a pair of heavy-duty gloves. Now in regards to what size winch you're gonna need, well, we have a couple recommendations for you. What you wanna do is take your vehicle's gross weight. So for the Sportsman 550, it's about 800 pounds dry. And you wanna take that and multiply it by 1.5. And that's gonna give you the minimal amount or the minimum amount of pull weight that you're gonna want for your winch. So for your smaller ATVs, 2,000 pounds is usually gonna be plenty. And for your larger ATVs, you're usually never gonna need more than 3,000 pounds. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping for what size winch you're gonna want. Now when it comes to mounting your winch, we've actually made it very easy for you here at Rocky Mountain. Just go to our website at rockymountainatvmc.com, enter the make, model, and year of your ATV, and you scroll down to the winches. We have kits that are available that are gonna come with everything you need to get it installed. You're gonna have your mounting plate, your hardware, and the winch, and we've also made how-to videos that you can watch that are gonna show you step-by-step -step how to get these installed. However, we do still offer the option you can get the mounting plate or the winch separate. It just depends on what route you wanna take. All right, so the second thing that we're gonna talk about is gonna be storage for your ATV. So whether you use your ATV for recreation, for work, or for hunting, you want a place to store your gear, need a place to put your food, and you definitely want a place to have all your tools. Now at Rocky Mountain, we carry a huge selection of different storage accessories for ATVs. We have front and rear rack bags and trunks, we have fender bags, and we also have tank bags. Now when it comes to choosing for the front and the rear, if you're choosing between a bag and a hard trunk, there's a couple of things that you wanna consider or keep in mind when you're doing that. Rack bags are great because they have good versatility. They're great for organizing your gear. Some are gonna have removable cooler compartments, cup holders, and they're gonna mount using straps. So they're very easy to take on and off. Now, hard trunks, these are made from hard molded plastic. These are great because they're gonna give very good protection to your items inside. Some of them you'll be able to lock up. Some of your rear trunks are gonna have integrated seat pads that are very nice for resting and they're gonna be very resistant to mother nature, especially in that nasty weather. Now, on this ATV, we have a couple of different bags and trunks that we wanna show you. Here in the rear, this is the OGO Honcho rear rack bag. This is one of our top picks for rear rack bags. It has a lot of versatility and mounts up using straps. You're gonna have two removable compartments here in the front that are also insulated coolers. And on the inside, it offers a lot of different pockets. Again, it's very nice for keeping your gear organized. Now up here in the front, this is the Polaris Lock and Ride front cargo box. Now the reason we love this, if you're a Polaris guy and your ATV was meant to use the Lock and Ride system, this is definitely a route that you're going to want to consider if you want a hard cargo box for the front or for the rear. It utilizes the lock and ride technology, which once that hardware is installed, you can take this hard box off and put it back on in just seconds. It's very, very easy. And again, with hard cargo boxes, you have the option to lock a lot of those up. So it's just a really nice feature. Now, one thing I do want to point out, this is something you want to keep in mind. With hard cargo boxes, if you have a composite rack, they'll still work, but they use U-bolt mounts. And so if you have that composite rack, it may need or may require a little bit of modification to get those to mount up. If you have a tubular rack on your ATV, that's what those are designed to work with best. So you're going to be really good in that situation. 
and some nice other options that you can have if you want. We have fender bags, which are awesome for your smaller accessories, your smaller items like your phone or your snacks. Those are gonna be easy to access. And we also have tank bags, so a couple different options there for your smaller items. Now, if you're looking for more options for the front or for the rear, whether it's a rack bag or a hard trunk, check out our ATV Buyer's Guide series for our storage options, where we show you our top picks for the front and the rear and give you all the details so that you can buy with confidence. All right, so the third thing we're talking about is gonna be your horn and turn signal kit. Now in some situations, to get from one trailhead to the next, you are gonna to need to go down a stretch of road. Now depending on your state and your local laws, you might need to have your ATV street legal. Now it can seem like a lot of work to do that, but Tusk has made it very easy for you. So on this Sportsman 550, we've got the Tusk turn signal and horn kit already installed. Now this kit's gonna come with everything you need to get your ATV down the road. On this 550, you're gonna have your front and your rear turn signals, you're gonna have your horn, your license plate mount. You're also going to have your control switch and your flasher relay up here in the front. That's going to allow you to control everything from your handlebar. Now for the Tusk Horn and Signal Kit, we've actually got two different options for you. You can have one that has turn signals that sit flat and flush on top of your plastic, or we have turn signals that are going to sit recessed. It really just comes down to rider preference at that point. Now once you've picked up your turn and horn signal kit, we've made installation very easy for you. We have multiple how-to videos that we show you step by step how to install your signal kit, and it makes it very, very easy. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is gonna be your plow. Now, if you live in a region where you get a lot of snow in the winter time, I promise you, this is something you are gonna want to have installed. No more wasting time and energy shoveling snow in the cold, and you can now have the chance to be the neighborhood hero by plowing other people's driveways. Now, we offer these from Tusk and Warren from 48 up to 72 inches, and we have machine-specific kits for both brands. So when you're on our website, you wanna enter the make, model, and year of your ATV, and that will show you the kit that is specific to your ATV. TV. Now those kits, they're going to come with your mounting plate, your push tube, and your plow, and it's going to have all the hardware needed for installation. What's great about it is we've already made multiple mach machine-specific video, how-to videos that show you step-by-step -step how to get these installed. Now on this quad here, we have the Tusk Sub-Zero plow installed. A couple nice features about it. The wear bar at the bottom is replaceable. It detaches very easily using that quick pin system, so you can take it off in less than a minute, and you're going to have five different angles that you can set this plow to while you're out pushing around snow. All right, so the last couple things we're gonna talk about are how to keep your hands warm and also how to keep your hands protected. It's no secret that if your hands are cold, it's very uncomfortable and that it can actually be dangerous if you have a hard time feeling the controls on your ATV. Now you've got a couple different ways that you can help keep your hands warm. First and foremost, you wanna get a nice pair of gloves that are gonna be wind resistant or even waterproof if that matter. And another way is to have a nice heated grip on your ATV. Now we carry heated grips from AIM, from Yamaha, and from Tusk. And the two that we're gonna talk about today are gonna to be the Tusk grip heaters. And the first one is the molded grip from Tusk. Now these have a heat panel that's built into the grip. It's an injection molded grip. And what's nice about these is you actually have a digital temp controller that actually allows you to control the temperature of your grip. Now the other option from Tusk is a Tusk Grip Heater Kit. Now those are nice because you can run whatever grip you want and those are just gonna install underneath your grips. Now the main difference between that and the molded grip is it's not gonna have that digital temp control so just keep that in mind. But regardless of which kit you go with, we have a how-to video that shows you step-by-step -step how to install these. It's very fast and very easy. So the last thing we're gonna talk about is how to keep your hands protected. Now there's a couple different ways you can do that. And the first one we're gonna talk about is gonna be using a handguard. Now at Rocky Mountain, we carry a huge selection of different handguards for your ATV. And the one that we have installed on the Sportsman 550, this is the Tusk Deflex ATV handguard. Now these are made from hard molded plastic and heat treated aluminum. Now these are ATV handguard because they actually extend farther out than your normal, your MX handguards, which is gonna give you more clearance for your levers. Now in some cases, you are gonna have controls on your ATV handlebars. Like we have on this ATV, we've got our controls for our, our turn and horn signal kit and for our winch as well. And so we don't have room on the inside of our grip here to mount up the other handguard. If you're in that same situation, a great handguard that we recommend is the Acherby's TriFit handguard. Now those have multiple configurations that you can use for the ATV, but the one that's going to work best is going to mount to the outside of your grip and it's going to leave the open or inside the grip open so you're still able to run a handguard. 
Now, the other way to keep your hands protected is going to be to run a hand mitt. Now, we offer these from Tusk, from ATV Logic, and we also have them from Quad Boss. Now, this Tusk one here, this is made out of 600 denier, so it's very durable, and it has nice warm fleece lining on the inside. Now, the, what's so great about these is they fit over your entire grip and your controls, and they're really going to do a very good job of keeping your hands dry, keeping them warm, and also keeping them protected. All right, guys, so thanks for checking out our ATV Utility Buyer's Guide. Now, remember, when you're on our website at RockyMountainATVMC.com, enter the make, model, and year of your machine. That's going to allow you to see everything that we talked about today, along with all the other parts and accessories that we carry for your machine. And as always, anything over 75 bucks is always going to ship free. If you like what you saw today, click and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's going to keep you up to date on all the latest product reviews, gear guides, and how-to videos that we are constantly rolling out. I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain, and we'll see you on the trails.